Welcome back everyone. Today we've got another piece of gear from Down Under. These are the TACDAX Mark III Special Projects from Platatac. Now, Platatac have been making these combat cut type trousers for quite a while. They did earlier versions in multicam uh, and all lots of cryptic patterns, the older Australian camos in, in this combat style cut. They made those for years and years. And recently they moved over to their flagship model essentially being the Mark III, and pretty much what they've done is just changed the knee pad fitting. Um, you've got features here from basically Cry's G3, G2, and then the Patagonia L9s all mixed in here. They've sort of picked and chosen what they wanted. So it's a pretty interesting combination. The main fabric's 50-50 Nyko. I'm going to say straight away, they advertise these as AOR1. They're not. They're NWU2, which is the arid Navy working uniform pattern. Uh, there is a USN, you can see just here, the US Navy things in there, which you wouldn't find in AOR. So these are NWU, just for, the, for those of you who look on the website and see the AOR, it's slightly different. The actual patterning, the coloration, uh, the digital pattern itself is the same bloody thing, but you get those little navy logos in there with NWU versus AOR1. Let's get into the features because there's lots to go through. Velcro, YKK zip on the fly. In terms of like the loop, the zip, the, the threading, they've really gone to town on making everything color match. Quite impressive. Thick wide belt loops, bar tacked all along top and bottom. Hangers underneath them on these front two here. Standard front pockets reinforced double layer of fabric just in these areas so when you put in a little knife clip little torch clip on there and you're taking it on and off all the time that's not going to wear through so quickly really nice layout to the front pocket you've got your elastic cord for your knee pad height adjustment just in there on this toggle with a plastic pole velcro closure pleated in the center and an actual extra pocket behind it. These are perfect for just temporarily stowing like a pistol mag. You can just tuck that in there, no closure onto it, and just grab stuff out of those pockets really easily. Very good. The main cargo pocket has the same feature in the top. You can stuff a rifle mag just down in there for a quick reload or whatever. Um, a phone radio, perfectly sized for that. Velcro and buttons. It's got a sort of a Navy custom Patagonia style going on here, Canadian type tape buttons. So you've got the option of the hook and loop or the button closure. If you are airborne, if you're maritime and you need the buttons, you've got that. Pleat in the center of the pocket, pleat around the back for lots of expansion room. Nice large closure to it, very nice and secure, pretty good. Um, stitching again. Bar tacks, bar tacks, bar tack, bar tack. They're all over the place. It's just little bar tacks and, and double stitching all over the place. Now, this sort of keystone, whatever you want to call it. Stretch fabric all across the knee. And what you'll see is there's no Nyko because what these trousers are designed to fit is the D3O Trust HP internal knee pad. Bit different. There's a couple of companies out there making trousers to fit these now. Um, basically what these are, for those of you who haven't seen them before, you've got a foam pad. This part in the centre is a little bit tougher because that's where your actual point of your knee is going to go onto the ground. And the rest of this is a squidgy foam. That goes inside. Then a plastic cap that's external. You've got four plastic pieces, keyways as it were, locking pieces mounted into the foam part of the knee pad. Then this external plastic cap. Once this part is on the inside, you put the plastic cap on the outside, tighten each one down, and you're good to go in terms of that. Now, on paper, it looks really good. In my experience, wearing these, you know, just kneeling down in them on hard surfaces with some gear on, I'm not a fan. I'm going to be honest, guys. If I wanted to just get free gear out of companies, I'd tell you they're amazing, but I, I'm here to just tell you the truth of what I find. For me, I don't know if I'm the only one that's found this, but when I wore these, just kneeling down on concrete floors and stuff, I had a lot of pain in my knees standing up from a concrete surface after kneeling on these pads. Like, 
I felt it was worse than if I didn't have these pads, I'm gonna tell you the truth. Part of the problem is that they're short. If you look at a cry pad, it's taller, and a lot of the time your knee ends up just um, resting on this piece rather than that. But you've got the height there in the pad, so it's always gonna cover your entire kneecap. With the D3Os, they're shorter. Sometimes your knee sort of ends up down here or missing off the pad as you take a knee and also these four plastic pieces go all the way through and they're solid plastic. So if the knee cap slightly moves around in the trouser, you can end up kneeling on these plastic parts and it, they dig right in something like, it's horrible, it's painful. Luckily, the plastic trousers do have something to deal with this. You've got four Velcro adjustment points on each knee pad. So you can cinch that down and definitely negate that issue to an extent, but I don't like these knee pads. Personally, my recommendation is going to be you just put a foam field type knee pad or something, just a foam pad or neoprene sleeve, neoprene piece on the inside and just leave it at that, truth be told. That's my preference. Um, I know other people have tried these pads and they like them. I'm not a fan of the system. That's just me putting it out there. Uh, I don't like them. I'm not going to use them again in the standard setup. I'm just going to put some, some standard field type knee pads on the inside and they'll be good to go. They'll work great, just the same as a field pad, but I don't like the D3Os. Moving on, got your lower ankle pocket, pleat in the center for expansion, zipped on this one, rather than the Velcro closure. Double layer of fabric on the ankle cuff, and then again, rather than a standard folding adjustment or cuff, you've got uh, got elastic pulls so they put that takes quite a lot of time to actually produce in terms of the sewing so that's quite a lot of effort they've put into that and that so that can cinch down to whatever size you want it round on the back as you'd expect waist adjustment so if you're between sizes go up a size you can cinch it down however tight you need it or otherwise with these two adjustments which are elastic that loops around the inside of the waistband nicely thickly padded waistband wide belt loop at the center Flat pockets, standard back pockets, double layered on the seat. As I mentioned, you've got a lot of adjustment for those knee pads around the back here. Four points to get it exactly how you want it. No shortage of features on these things. Stretch panels in the groin there, as well as on the back of the waistband. So plenty of room for movement, much less chance of the seams blowing out on you when you, you take a knee, squat, whatever. Um, and then and you're putting stress on the seams, you've got that stretch balance to take that bit of stress out of the stitching. Not that the stitching is anything to be concerned about, but if, if you look at combat pants that don't integrate these stretch panels in the groin, for example, if you look at stuff that comes up used on tactical gear, sales pages and stuff, a lot of the time you get blown out uh, seam joins uh, right up there in, in the groin or on the on the back waistband or at the knees. So as I say guys, I'm not a fan of the, the D3O Trust HP internal pads. However, you've got the pad pocket here to fit any other pad on the inside. So that's not the end of the world. The quality throughout the rest of the trouser is excellent. It's as I'd expect from Platac. I really like these little handy pockets that you can open because they're right there, right in front of you. When you sat down, especially they're just right there or whatever it is you're doing if you're stationary. They're no good for running around, you just lose stuff out of them, but slower movement or whatever, basically they're just, they're super handy for access. If you just need to quickly stow something, get it back out again, I really like those. You don't see those uh, on a lot of other designs like this. And I think that's definitely a, a strong contender because of those, I use them all the time. Overall, the quality is really up there. I will link down in the description below to the website, to the Platatac page, product page on these, so you can check them out for yourself. Pretty well priced. Uh, they've made them in Multicam and the NWU fabric you see here. The Multicam actually has uh, color match panels, which is pretty cool. Check them out, guys. Definitely a strong contender, a good option. Cheers for coming by and watching, everyone. If you want to see more gear videos like this, consider hit, hitting subscribe. Appreciate all the likes and the thumbs up uh, and comments everyone leaves down below. Do genuinely uh, appreciate seeing those. Any questions you've got, leave them in the comments. I will get back to you. I'm not one of these people who just ignores the comments. I'll sort you out whatever info you need. Email platattack if you want to know. 
they've got good customer service as well. I've always been impressed with that side of them. Um, really good company in my opinion. So again, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.